hello guys good morning welcome to my channel so today i'm here with a new class with respect to computer aptitude for all the government examination especially the banking examination and since the ibps po or clerk sorry ibps clerk mains and nhp is in the line so this um, logic gates class will be very important from the computer aptitude part because uh, there are um, uh, definitely questions asked from this topic with respect to these examinations so i thought of making this video okay and uh, the previous video has already been covered with respect to the data flow diagram uh, for the both uh, sbi and ibps and also a national housing bank and since most of them are uh, aspiring for national housing bank examinations uh, the examination is also uh, the questions are also provided so with that um, in today's class i will be explaining the different uh, logic gates their logic and how to solve the problems okay so basically you will get an idea of uh, solving these logic gates and in my next classes so we will take uh, questions on each logic gate and try to solve all of them so that your complete uh, knowledge with respect to the logic gates for this banking examination will be clear so with that let us start the class so if you haven't watched the previous video you can go to my channel and i have created a separate playlist uh, where you can get access to all the videos okay so with that let us start the class so the logic gates is divided into three types that is the basic logic gates universal logic gates and other logic gates so i remember this they, there can be classification based question also so it is divided into basic logic gates universal logic gates and other logic gates so basic are and not and or whereas universal are and and not so from the name itself you can see it is universal in nature and the other logic gates are x or and x not so basically there are seven types of logic gates so uh, as per my analysis uh, most of the questions will be asked upon these five gates so since uh, these two are also easy but still the questions are more asked on these things but uh, let us see all of them okay it's not like uh, we can't uh, we can't leave any of them uh, there can be questions with from any gates also so uh, it's uh, not uh, easy to take risk by leaving these two gates so let us see all the seven gates so the first one is the or gate so in OR gate, the output of an OR gate attains the state of 1. See, you don't uh, remember these definitions and all. So just remember this thing. This is very, very important. So we have to get this thing. If you don't remember this truth table also, then it's okay. But remember this formula. Y is equals to A plus B. A is the signal 1 and A, B is the signal 2. So uh, normally, you write a table with respect to the signals. Just uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. 1 1 so uh, for those people who can't directly remember the truth table you can do this form so this is common in nature for all the gates so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now uh, provide the signal to this formula so if you know this formula then you can surely answer so 0 0 the answer is would be 0 according to the formula and here it should be 1 1 and here it should it shouldn't be 2 it should be 1 okay so the signal uh, in this dig digital signal there is no number two so it should be one uh, zero or one so a one plus one will be one okay so like this you need to understand the basic concept it's not like by hearting everything so if you compare this the answer is same but uh, mo most of them cannot remember this truth table so my suggestion would be to remember this formula and remember this diagram it is also very important the type of diagram so the type of diagram should be like this inverted it should be inward and it should be like a rocket okay this is the output signal so this is how you need to remember so the basically you need to uh, draw this truth table on your own so if you remember this formula then you can surely um, surely draw this uh, you know uh, table so 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 are common thing so from that you can derive the truth table so uh, likewise that these uh, using these truth table you can solve many of the problems let us look the, into them later now let us go into the next gate so and gate as i said remember this formula and this diagram okay now uh, i'll write the uh, um, truth table simple it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now provide this input to this formula so 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 that's it it's, it's, it's so simple so if you know the formula that can you can surely solve this problem itself and it is also called as boolean expression remember this boolean was the person who invented this so it is called as boolean expression and the 
gate diagram must be remembered so it is not it's a straight line whereas in the previous gate it was inward and uh, the rocket like thing was present so these differences must be noted or else you may get confused okay so the uh, in the examination they might provide the symbols only so from that you need to derive which symbol is this and then you have to derive the logic gate so based upon that uh, you need uh, it is very important to remember both the formula and the diagram okay so in the previous one you can see it was inverted it is or gate now it is and gate. now it is and gate now this is the easiest gate that is not gate this is nothing not not itself says not that is uh, it should not be allowed so if uh, zero is provided it will become one if one is provided it will become two okay see this is a single input whereas in the previous one you can see it, it was double input so remember this thing also so in the double input the first one or gate and and gate was present and in the not gate only single input is present so as the name itself says you can remember it is the opposite of this so remembering the formula would be very easy so if um, one is provided it would become zero if a zero is provided it will become one so this is the simplest thing that you can derive from this uh, uh, gate okay and remember the diagram it is a triangle with the cherry cherry on the top okay now it is the NAND gate from here it is very important because um, it is since it is universal gate it is very very important so so it is um, similar to AND gate. So Y is a, a into B negation of A into B. For AND gate, that was Y is equals to A into B. Okay, this is for AND. So if you are N, that is negation. So remember this. So if you add N for AND, then it is a negation. So you need to add negation here also. Simple, right? Uh, I will explain you one more time. So for AND, it was Y equal to A into B. So for NAND gate, you need to add a negation N in uh, uh, in the word AND. So if you add N, it would become NAND. So if you since you have added N here, that is negation, you have to add a negation here also. That is very simple. Now let us draw the logic diagram. Sorry, Boolean uh, table. So the common thing is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, now I will provide the inputs. So zero is for A, B is for A, uh, zero is for B. So zero into zero is zero, but since negation is there, it should be one. Now zero for A, one for B. Zero into one is zero again, but since negation is there, it is one. Now one for A and zero for B. One into zero is zero. Since negation is there, it is one. And one for A and one for B. So the answer would be one, but the negation is there. So negation of one is zero. So this is the boolean diagram it's a simple right so if you remember the logic then you can surely solve this uh, these kind of problem and uh, it will fetch you more amount of marks in the examination it's not like uh, these are the new things if you uh, practice more and more problems at least 10 to 15 on each gate then you can surely uh, solve this problem and now remember this uh, uh, diagram also for and gate it was like this so if you are if for NAND gate the same thing will be present and an one more cherry will be present so it is like a not gate cherry so if you are adding a, a cherry here then it will be like a negation so remember that this is how you need to remember these things and don't uh, get confused i am explaining it to you in the easiest way so remember the, it, it in this way itself next comes the nor gate so this is also very easy so you know or gate so or gate was like this the first gate which we studied today and the code was formula was y is equal to a plus b so now you are adding n the same thing applies to here also so if you if you are adding if you are adding n that is negation then you have to put a negation here also so as i said for or gate the symbol is this if you are uh, if you want to derive the formula for nor gate then you need to add n here so likewise since you are adding n here then the negation should be put here also this is how you need to do and now let us draw the uh, uh, boolean table so the common thing 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 okay so when i give the input 0 for a 0 for b the answer would be 0 but since negation is there the answer should be 1 and for 0 and 1 again the 
uh, a 0 for a 1 for b the answer is 1 but since negation is there it should be 0 now for the third case 1 for a and 0 for b the answer is 1 but since negation is there it is 0 and 1 for a and 1 for b the answer is 1 as I said there is no 2 in uh, uh, binary digits so it should be 0 or 1 so if I give 1 for a and 1 for b the answer should be uh, 1 but the answer since negation is there it is 0 see very very simple to derive the formula and the table also so this is how you need to remember all these things okay so this was the first five gates that we spoke now now let us go into the uh, next gate that is XOR gate the full form is exclusive OR gate in XOR gate the output of a two input XOR gate attains the state one if one uh, one if one adds only input attains the state one see don't um, get confused by reading all these things as I said remember this formula this is more than sufficient and this diagram so I'll explain you now so it is XOR gate so you know for OR gate you you are writing this diagram right so for XOR gate add one more curve here that's it this is the symbol for XOR gate now let us draw the boolean uh, table so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this is the common thing now the output y we know the formula here a negation b plus a negation b plus a a b negation okay so now 0 is provided to a so it will become 1 and 0 is provided to b so 1 into 0 is 0 and again 0 is provided to a and 0 is provided to b so 0 into 1 is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 okay so likewise you need to compare everything with the formula and then you need to solve then it will become very easy so for the second expression 0 is given to a a bar and 1 is given to b so 0 becomes 1 here and 1 into 1 is 1 again this 0 goes to a and this 1 goes to b bar so 0 into 0 becomes 0 so the answer is 1 plus 0 is 1 see very simple just by comparing it with the formula I am deriving the whole table itself if you don't remember this table also it's not a problem so I am given giving here 1 that is 1 negation is 0 and um, 0 for b so answer this part would be 0 and again I am giving this 1 to this so this will become 1 and 0 here so 1 into 0 is 0 so 0 into 0 0 plus 0 is 0 so as I said here 1 goes here and 0 goes here so 1 negation is 0 this whole part will become 0 and again here 1 goes here 0 goes here so 1 into 0 neg negation so 0 negation is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so the answer would be here 0 1 and again for this case also it would be 0 so this is very simple way to derive the uh, boolean table for this uh, given gate with respect to this formula so if you know the formula then you can show this all now let us go to the last gate so exclusive nor gate so pre previously we studied exclusively or gate now this is exclusively nor gate so the same thing you need to put one more curve here that's it okay one more curve with the cherry here so remember the differences in exclusively nor gate a curve with the cherry whereas in exclusively or gate a, just a curve okay now the formula is y is equal to a b plus a bar b bar so if now let us draw the entire table 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so now 0 is provided here 0 is provided here so the answer is 0 again 0 here 0 here so 0 negation is 1 1 b 0 negation is 1 1 into 1 is 1 see very simple and for the second case 0 is given to here and 1 is given here so 0 into 1 is 0 here 0 is given here 1 is given here so 0 negation is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so 0 negation is 1 and 1 negation is 0 so 1 into 0 is 0 so likewise 
you can solve the complete table so this was the simplest way that a person can teach you with respect to these logic gates so if you are if you are uh, new to this then you can surely practice this by uh, so having this table so in my next class i will uh, bring all all kind of problems asked in the banking examination with respect to these logic gates so this was the basic class that uh, many people had asked me to clarify the doubts and how to derive the truth table or the boolean table for the different logic gates provided so this was the cla today's class guys so if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that's all for today guys thank you